Who am I? Essential question. Who am I? Standards. Children's sense of self is shaped by experiences that are unique to them and their families, and by common experiences shared by a community or nation. People have physical characteristics, height, eye and hair color, age, race, ethnicity. Discussion. Tell students that people have characteristics. Characteristics are things that help identify people. Some things are the same and some things are different. People have different color skin, eyes, hair, height, etc. Some books that you could read, Incredible Me, All By Myself, I Like Myself, Marvelous Me, Chrysanthemum, and I Like Me. All of these books will help students identify with the characters and their particular characteristics and potentially begin to make comparisons with themselves. One of the first things students need to identify themselves is to learn their name. And these hands-on activities can be done with Play-Doh, bottle caps, stampers, gluing paper on large letters, students placing their name in the proper order, also identifying themselves in a photo. Students can match the letters on a spoon or just potentially put the spoons in the proper sequence. In addition, face activities. Students begin to look at their physical traits. Students can create an I am special mirror. They could also utilize a real mirror so students can see themselves. They can draw themselves on the sheet of paper, use Play-Doh mats and place Play-Doh to make their face, use food items to create themselves, use paper plates, they can paint them and add different pieces on. They could also cut pictures out of a magazine, use string and all type of decorative art pieces. You could also do printed all about me or who am I activities. Students can draw themselves, their favorite toy, things they like to eat, their family, an elephant, trace their hand, provide their fingerprint, as well as their foot. And I'll show you a few websites where you could find these principles. One resource is liveworksheets.com. And search all about me and students can tell you things about themselves if they're unable to write they're able to click you can pick their favorite color food that they like to eat things they like to do maybe sing watch TV and then they can select finish when they're done Another resource is YouTube. You can search Who Am I or All About Me. And a series of videos will come up and you would select the videos of your choice. Teacherspayteachers.com is another resource. And here, you would search all about me in ascending order to take a look at the free items first. And here you have I am special printables and all about me bag, which is a great idea. Students can bring in things from home or if they are home, they can place things in the bag and you can do a show and tell. And here's this one sheet which contains an overview of things they like. Another resource is sparklebox.com. And here you can search ourselves and all about me teaching resources. 
and you'll see prints and banners, their body. Here you can download Play-Doh mats. We download them, laminate them. Here they can draw their face, add their eyes, nose, mouth. So there's several things here that you can utilize for the all about me topic. You can also use twinkle.com. That's T W I N K L. There's no E. And here there are also series of printables. There's a flip book here, All About Me Printable, in addition to a booklet. You can use those principles to create your own activities depending on the level of learner. I've created some activities on jamboard.google.com. So here I took an image of a student. In this case, I just took a picture of an image of someone online, but in your classroom, you would take a picture of your student. And they can slide to identify the parts of their face. Remove their eyes, nose, mouth, and hair. And to do this, I took a screenshot of the image on Jamboard. So let's say I wanted to do the neck or the shoulders. I would just screenshot this part, paste it, it would go there. So I would just slide it over. So again, you would take pictures of your student, copy and paste the screenshot portion of what you'd like to pinpoint. You can do the eyes individually, you know, different hair, you could focus on the body. Another activity you could do is the name. My name is Billy, and a picture of the student. You can create boxes. You go in here, and I selected the square, and I made the squares that way. Then I added sticky notes with the student's name, and I one letter at a time. And now the student can drag and drop and place them in the proper order. B, I, L, L, Y. Another activity is the students can draw themselves. So you can take a screenshot of the printables you found on Sparklebox, Twinkle, or potentially Teacher Pay Teacher and place it here. You can also add an image of the student, and the student could draw themselves. Go to the pen at the top, select the color, and draw their eyes, their nose, a mouth, and potentially some hair. Conclusion, the question, who am I, is the beginning of students realizing they are part of a community. Storybooks with characters can help them recognize characteristics in others. Hands-on name and physical characteristic activities help students learn things about themselves. YouTube, Teachers Pay Teachers, Live Worksheets, Twinkle, and Sparklebox are great resources to continue identifying and answering the question, who am I?